Let me start. We have a mutual friend, Angela Duckworth, who writes yes. a lot about grit, right? <laughs> Which is also your dad's name. But she, she talks about grit, and, and in her book, she mentions that when you first showed up to Brigham Young University as a freshman, you were the eighth string quarterback. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't bode to say, like, oh, hey, I'm probably going to be the greatest NFL quarterback of no, all time. No, Walk us through, when you're facing a, a big challenge like that, what, what was your thought process? How did you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it through this and become someone mm. that's amazing? Well, I tell you, it wasn't Pollyanna. I, I don't think the way you handle the things like that is, oh, you know, boy, this is going to be a great challenge, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win, you know, you know, because you have to be realistic. When you're going to go at something like that, you know that it might not work out. It might not. I mean, um, Steve Covey was always, uh, you know, was a guy that I always really admired. And he always said, like, do you want to, how good do you want to be? Do you want to find out? You know, it was a question he asked me in a really pivotal time in my life. Do you want to know how good you can get? Because it might not be as good as you think. Right. But are you willing to take that chance? And I think looking at that piece of paper, I fundamentally said, I'm taking a shot because I don't believe that that's the truth. Grit grows. Like, I don't think grit, I, I didn't start with a bunch of grit. It's like the old thing, like, I think I can, I think I can. You have a desire to have some grit. Pretty soon, that's a state of being. Like, what's the next one? You know, where else am I eight string? You know, what else can I take on?